Welcome to Jeffrey's Travels and Food. Well, we're getting a little bit of rain here, but I'm going to cook the rest of the hot dogs on the charcoal grill. I'm going to do something a little different. I added two of these basil and sage and thyme oak wood pellets. There we go. See? I have them sitting kind of right there and with the charcoal. We'll see what kind of flavor I get with this championship cherry and apple. It's going to make some crazy flavors, I think. So my brother went to the store to get a few things for my mom, but while I'm getting this stuff prepared, he's going to get a little side dish to go with the hot dogs. That's all we're going to do is just something simple. Nothing crazy because we already did some pretty big dinners last weekend, so I didn't feel like having sweet corn and all that other stuff like we did last like last weekend. So we're just doing something simple, a couple hot dogs, so this should be enough charcoal. And So let me just get this stuff off the table first. Okay, I added my letter fluid to the charcoal, and now I have it going. I'm going to have it sit out in the outside of the garage because I don't want to burn the garage down. I hate to see my brother come home and, oh, there's some smoke. I wonder where that's coming from. Oh, no. My airplanes. Oh, something like that. So always do this outside of the garage. Don't do anything stupid. Always start your charcoals outside of the garage of the building because you never know. You don't want the garage door to get hot. Yep, it's not raining that bad right now. So there you go. We'll be back in a moment. We'll just let that go and soon we'll be able to cook our hot dogs on there. I'm sure you know what hot dogs look like. <laughs> so we'll let this, we'll let that go there. Nothing like watching some fire. All those apple, those little briquettes with that, on that bag I just had on there a few minutes ago with the sage and thyme and different flavor. That's going to make some crazy those things are actually going to uh, kind of smoke. So, I don't know if you ever tried, anybody's ever tried those in their charcoal before, but I can smell it just from the fire burning on it. I, yeah. It's giving off a distinctive scent, I guess you could say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. It smells like something that you shouldn't be doing. I'm not going to name it, but you know I'll, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> hopefully. But anyway, so we'll see what happens and see how that tastes. And I'll let you know on a separate video or just in my comments. Yeah, I'll just leave it in the comments and let you know how they turned out. So I'll just do that. I don't think I need to do a whole separate video just on four hot dogs on a charcoal grill. But I'll let you know how the hot dogs turned out in the comments on this after the video's done. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll see how long it takes my brother to get home here. So, oh yeah, I can smell it. Oh yes. Oh, I can't believe it. Two weeks from today, it's my birthday. Don't forget, two weeks from today, August 27th, between 2 and 4 p.m. Come and join me for my birthday celebration. Yep, can't believe I'm turning 62 already. Holy mackerel. Where did that time go? Seems like I was just born yesterday. Boy. Oh. Well, anyway... So there you go. We'll do some, maybe some 
live or not live but some recording of me going to work tomorrow now I have my phone holder so uh, oh yeah this is what I've done so far with my chair I'm just doing a little bit at a time we'll get the, we'll do more and then the bag in here was that was the stuff from the uh, chair back from last week. I'm just kind of throwing stuff away a little bit at a time so they don't get like suspicious about me trying to throw a recliner away in the trash. My brother does have a reciprocating saw so I can just kind of cut down once I get this mechanism off the bottom. Yep, and then that's pretty much it. It's just getting the rest of the frame broken down and that's it. Hey, Nothing like to save. I think they charge you like 35 bucks just to get rid of the a recliner in the trash. If I can do it myself, well, that's 35 bucks saved right there. That's two months worth of uh, phone service. Okay, well, there you go. Now it's kind of smoking, so I could probably almost put that on the small table. So, anyway. Thank you for watching Jeffrey's Travels and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of that extra flavor briquettes in the charcoal grill. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.